This is a picture of me in January of 2021. And this is a picture of me I took for my camera roll a couple weeks ago. And as you can see, a lot has changed. So how did I transform my face from this to this in the span of a year? There are four exact steps you need to follow. Let me explain. First off, you are not ugly. That's the first thing. The second thing I want to say is that you should not be caught up in things that you cannot control. Stop, stop obsessing over dumb stuff that you can't change. Whatever it is that you were born with, own it. It's just a a recipe for disaster the only thing you're gonna end up doing is hating yourself and self-hate is unattractive no matter how you look so you're not there's some things you're just not gonna be able to change and it's okay i separated this whole process i went through into four parts and i attacked those four parts and fixed the things that i felt like were lacking in each of those four parts and i feel like that's what's gotten me the most progress and these four different parts are your face the definition in your face your eyebrows your eyes and then the second pillar is body yeah you want to go to the gym and you want to gain muscle and you want to lose body fat and stuff but there's also like there's an objective way to make your body look that becomes the most attractive you know what i mean the third pillar is your skin your skin and your teeth you could technically put those with face but i honestly think those two things are so important they need to be their own the fourth and final one is your hair first off your hair varies by your race a lot of these like how to get how to be more attractive like looks maxing whatever tutorials a lot of these people they they gear this advice towards white people but obviously not everybody on the fucking planet is european you know what i mean i want to start with what i did for my face probably probably the first and most important thing i started uh doing this thing called mewing there's gonna be so many people in the comment section who are like mewing doesn't work this is a scam no 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 no, no it's a scam I, I hate it i did not go from this to this for no reason bro at the end of the day all mewing really is like i know a lot of people like to hype it up as like this magical like thing but all it's really doing is just giving your face the proper tongue posture that's really all you're doing basically what mewing is it's where you 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 take your tongue you take your tongue and you put it at the roof of your mouth you put it at the roof of your mouth and then you you press against press against the roof of your mouth it's gonna take a while if you do it for long enough, I promise you, you will start to see results. Because your tongue is against the top, what you're gonna have to start doing is breathing through your nose. Have you ever heard that insult, mouth breather? <laughs> you wanna know why that's an insult, bro? The people who breathe through their mouth, their faces end up developing incorrectly, and that's where this ugliness kind of look comes from their nose kind of gets like pushed forward like this and then they start getting these like round bulgy looking eyes all of that stuff happens literally just because they breathe through their mouth even if mewing did absolutely nothing for you at least you would have proper tongue posture the number one most important thing at least for men I i'm speaking for men not for women first off you need equal facial thirds i don't know if y'all knew this but you can actually separate every single person's face into thirds there's the lower third which is like it's like the lower third is like right here then there's the 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 like middle third which is right here and then there's the upper third if you want to maximize how attractive you look every part every third of your face has to be even the, the reason why people look unattractive to the eye is because the person in question has one part of their face that's just much 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 more uneven than the other right because what is the key basis of facial attractiveness symmetry but symmetry isn't just this way and this way is this way too you want all thirds of your face to be symmetrical so but there's ways to fix that without surgery hair is a good example of how how important having equal facial thirds are because how many people do you know would look much 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 uglier if you were to just shave off all their hair why is that because when you shave off all your hair the top your upper third looks way bigger than the rest of your face for your face specifically you want to try to maximize your facial thirds and there's multiple ways you can do that but i can't really tell you because i don't know what you look like but i can tell you for me i i look much 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 better with long hair than with short hair but the reason why is because of my face shape i have a very round-ish type of face shape and if you look at my face you can see and the only way to make that not look terrible is to have longer more roundish hair because the rounder and bigger and poofier my hair looks the less round just more normal and angular my face looks so i've noticed every single time i have like a kind of poofy big bigger looking hairstyle i look much better like i said i ha i just happen to have a very 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 round face shape because of how my chin is kind of just pushed back a little bit that type of like intricacy is what i'm talking about like you got to look at yourself objectively for your face and see like how can i maximize 
what I have. The next thing I want to talk about is your body. Um, I'm not going to talk about this too long because I actually think this is, this is probably the only thing, the only thing I don't really need to talk about much because every guy does it. Almost every guy nowadays is going to the gym. So I don't really need to tell you much about this. But here's what I will say. A lot of you guys are mistaken when you go to the gym and you think that that's the only thing you should do. If you do absolutely nothing else, it won't help you. Or if you take it too far, it won't help you. I, I know you understand that you have to go to the gym because most dudes do. What you shouldn't do, they get really, really, really jacked and then they spend all their time in the gym and they think that that alone, having a super nice body is, is gonna, like nothing you do for your body is going to make up for your face. Your body is probably the best way to make up for that, but it's not, it's not going to yield you the results that you think it is. If every guy's doing it, it kind of just becomes, so if you want to stand out, you're going to have to work on your face. You're gonna have to work on your face. You're gonna have to get a unique hairstyle. You're gonna have to work on your skin, your teeth. And that's what I'm about to talk about. It's not just the gym. You should go to the gym, but it's not just the gym. I went from this to this. I was very skinny, bro. Look at my arms. So I'm telling you as a gym rat, cause I do that. I don't be one of those guys who takes it to the extreme. Don't start topping on steroids. That's the point I wanna make about the gym, but still go to the gym because that V taper shape is attractive that's the most attractive body shape for men so do that i feel i feel like toji is a good example i'm using him as an example because he also has a good face and i will say this this is the last thing i'll say i feel like the gym is important being lean is the number one most important thing only thing that changed in between these pictures is my hair and my body fat percentage. Look at the difference. The only thing that changed was that I just got lean. The only reason why you think you look bad is because you're not lean. You have too much fat on your face, bro. All that stuff just matters, bro. All that stuff matters. I will say having a lean body equates to having a lean face. So that's the one thing I will commend the gym for is that you need to get lean. 12% body fat is like, if you want to maximize your looks, 12% body fat is probably like the perfect range. So the third pillar is skin slash teeth. This, this technically could be counted with your face, but I just feel like this is so important. It needs to be its own category. You need to try to make your skin as clear as possible. And I'm saying this as somebody who, who has terrible acne. I want you to look at this picture, bro. I've had terrible, terrible acne. There's gonna be a lot of people who will tell you like, you need to take care of your skin and you do this and stuff. But you honestly, if you have terrible acne, you probably already do that. Cause I don't know if, if anybody else with acne can relate. At the time I had acne, I probably took care of my skin better than 99% of the people around me who had clear skin. The moment that my skin started getting clearer is when I took Accutane. It's this, it's this drug. You take it over the course of like a couple months. And I didn't really start getting even slightly clear skin until after I took Accutane. Now, I'm not telling you to take Accutane. That's not what I'm saying. The first thing you need to do is you need to fix your diet. The the worse and worse I ate, the worse my acne got. But I will say, even if you eat good, it might not completely fix it 100%. It wasn't like that for me. Even when I was doing that, I still had bad acne until I took Accutane. So try to at least fix your diet, even if it doesn't help. But that's not to be taken lightly though, because Accutane has a lot of side effects. So I wouldn't do that unless you're 100. Talk with your parents about it, because I wouldn't be do all of that stuff. All of that stuff in in unison should clear your skin. And then, like I said, the the second thing you want to do is whiten your teeth. I'll say the first thing you probably should do, even if you don't want to, the first thing you should, probably should do is get braces, bro. That my teeth weren't even that white at the time but because they were straight it looked much better there's multiple ways you can do that you can do teeth whitening strips i did that for a little bit but the main thing i did i take baking soda and then i put hydrogen peroxide in there and i, I get i get like a bunch of baking soda on my teeth and swish it around and i spit it out and then what i do with with all that baking soda on my teeth i take hydrogen peroxide and pour it in a cup and then i mix it with water and then that that water and hydrogen peroxide mix is kind of like my my uh, mouthwash. And then I'll do that like two or three times. And that whitens my teeth. There's multiple ways you can do it. There's teeth whitening kits, there's teeth whitening strips, and there's like whole procedures. Make sure that you do that because that is important. Having straight white teeth and having clear skin is very important for having a good looking face. And the last one I want to talk about, and this is the last thing I'm going to mention, is your hair. I can't, I can't give you one-to-one -one advice because I don't know what you look like. But what I can say is that I would look into getting longer hair because I think for 99% of you, 99% of the time, you're going to look better with longer hair. There's multiple ways to do that. Um, you can get dreadlocks. You can get uh, like long curly type of hair. You can get like, you can get like a big, like spiky fro. So you really just have to find the hairstyle that fits best for your face shape. For me, I look better with longer hair. So what I'm trying to do right now, I have, you can see I have braids right now. This is, this is what my hair looks like right now. One or two years ago, my hair looked like that. What I'm planning to do now is basically, I'm just gonna have a very, very, very big curly fro. 
fro and i'm gonna highlight it and make it yellow basically like this the reason i can say that with confidence is because i've experimented with different hairstyles that i want so you kind of just you really just have to do the same thing right because i had like i said i had dreads for two years and they look good but that wasn't the hair for me and that's something that i had to i had to go through to experience it so you're probably going to do the same thing the first hairstyle that you end up picking probably isn't going to be your best one at the end of the day it's just experimentation you're going to have to experiment uh your facial hair is important too because the amount of dudes i've seen who look much 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 better with beards i can't really grow one just yet i'm still working on it i had to put i ended up putting minoxidil the only reason i have even that tiny amount is because i started using minoxidil i started using minoxidil when i was like 17. if you want a beard and you don't know how to grow it i would look into using minoxidil to do that i mean that's pretty much it bro you, you gotta you gotta experiment basically you're gonna have to experiment with a bunch of styles until you find what works best for you you're gonna have to experiment with a bunch of cuts because i don't know what you look like i can't tell you exactly what hair to get but what i will say is most men look better with the longer that their hair is so i would look into getting a longer type of hairstyle i will say that it's not just the hair on the top of your head it's your facial hair too looking at trying to grow that but yeah I mean, that's pretty much it.